Plaintiff India Choice says her son has two children with the defendant, and her grandson, who is with the defendant in court today, is totally out of control. India claims she pressed charges on her grandson after he stole her car and totaled it, and she's suing for the damages to the vehicle. Defendant Siobhan Moore says her 16-year-old has been in counseling since the age of nine, but she insists he has never been in any serious trouble with the law. Siobhan says she's desperate for her son to repair his relationship with India. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Cybron and I have known each other for approximately 16, 17 years. Her and my son, Rakim, have two children together. Devon, which is here now, who I affectionately call Pop. Uh, Siobhan and I, we get along pretty much, but we share differences when it comes to Devon. He is totally out of control, and I think that she is a bit overprotective of that. Out of control in what way? Uh, out of control. He steals, he lies, he runs away from home, he destroys property. Why you put it on her, though? I put, I, I put it on her and, and his father. I didn't hear that. Oh, yeah. Maybe they, I missed they, that they, part. Share, they share. They share him together. I know, but you didn't mention him. Oh, well. And most wayward boys, it's because their fathers aren't in their lives. The mothers are the ones that save those boys okay. when the father's not around. Where are your son at today? He wouldn't come. He wouldn't come. Oh. Oh. I think it's a punk move, but. So your grandson is out of control. Have you all recommended or discussed counseling? Yes. He's gone? No. Okay. Not that I not that I'm aware of. Okay. Who did you discuss it with? Uh, my son and What did they say? Did they respond favorably? Um we tried to get some help, but mm -hmm. What do you want to tell me about your son? Because we're gonna be on that for a minute before we get to this car. Um, my son, he's 16 years old. Dovon been through counseling since he was nine years old. He had behavior issues within school. He was just hanging out with the wrong people. So he was trying to just be cool. So whatever they did, he wanted to be cool too. But I did Boys and Girls Club. I did Big Brother, Big Sister. He had in counseling, out counseling. Even after he crashed our car, I put him through okay, that's a, a what we six hear for week. crashing the car. Let me ask you about the counseling. What did the therapist tell you? To... Um, he's not a bad kid. He's just trying to find his mojo. Can I say he's trying to find his style and where he want to be? How many in life? times has he been convicted of a crime? Never. How many times None. has he been charged with a serious crime? None. She says he's committing some serious crime. Only thing he have done to her and I was stole her car and stole um, money from her. That's it. At two different times? Yes. Where did he steal the money from? Out her house. Okay, one of the things you should not do is minimize in any way the troubles that your son's experiencing. And it sounds like that's what you're doing. When you say the only thing he's done is stole a car and her money. <laughs> yeah, that's a big crime. No, when you said that, I thought you were saying, like, other as in uh, burglaries or murdering and going to the store. Felonies. And sit, yeah, Felon things. I'm, I'm talking felonies. Okay. I'm talking things that will send you to prison for years. Yes. And what I just mentioned will. Yes. All right, ma'am. That's for you and his father. Does he live in the household, his father? No. Okay. Is he part of his life? Yes, he is. Oh, how often does he communicate and involve every day. himself? They talk every day. Every day. And he still can't do anything everything. with him? He can, yes, he can. can it's just not do? what it seems like to, um, what his grandmother is expressing to you. Well, she expressed that he's still I mean, in cars and now, still in after, money. Yes, he did. He took the money, but things have changed after that. He still could have counseling and still have other help because he needed okay. as a young man to still to, to go on in life. But he, things have gotten better from from the time I said from nine when he was having okay. behavior issues. Good. Things so this uh, happened better. years ago. What you're suing about? Because she said things have gotten better. So when was it that sounded like he stole your car? When was that? Well, I can tell you that he's... Two years ago. Try last year. 
What month last year? He stole the car in August, but he stole the money before, earlier in the part of August of 18, he stole your car. How much money did he steal from you? $360. So what has happened since that time? Sounds like she's admitting it. Yes. Um, have you asked for reimbursement? What has I been discussed? I have asked. Um, I've asked my son. She, Cybar gave me $500. My son said that he was going to give me 3000 but he knows how to um, squeeze the buffalo off a nickel, and I didn't think that he was going to give it to me. And here it is a year later, just about, and he hasn't given me a dime. I'm holding both of them responsible, but like I said, he's, he, he didn't want to come. Mm-hmm. Um, Don't want to be involved. Don't I... Don't want to speak for his son and his woman. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Got it. He, Go ahead. He, um... My son is a street person. He's been in jail. How long was he in jail? Maybe a good 10 on All right. Was he in his life those 10 years every day? Talk to him, oversee him every day? Your Honor, the time she's talking about has nothing to do with me. It was way before my time. And he was here for the whole 16 years Oh, he's never been in life. prison during his life? No. That's before that she's talking about. It's before, before my time. He's never been in prison since the war. Is he still in the street? No. Over... Oh, he been... Now, your son you're talking about. Okay, what, what is the question, y'all? Is he still a street guy? And was he in prison any point during this kid's life? He has been in prison one time. During this child's life? During, during his life. Okay, she says no. Let's move on to the $3,000 because you believe that your son is not responsible. So, you have the right to sue her. They are jointly and severally responsible. You can sue both or you can sue one. Today, you've chosen to sue her. So, what happened with the car exactly? You said it was stolen. Give me the details. On August 15th of last year, um, Pop came to my apartment stole my keys, stole my car. How did you get into your apartment? I live in an apartment complex. Um, I leave my door open because he's not the only grandchild I have. So he wasn't already there? Who When he took it? He wasn't already in the house? Oh, no, no. What else, ma'am? He came in, took the car, and then what happened? Took the keys, took the car. I didn't find out about it until the next day where I see my car is all busted up. What did you come to find out? Occurred? Well, the original story was that I was... that they seen me bring the car in the mm-hmm. garage and I was drunk, and they seen me back it up into the fence. <laughs> that was what I was first hit with. I had to think about that thing for a second. <laughs> and then I was like, wait, wait a minute, hold up. I, I was asleep last night. And then I start putting the pieces together. My husband said, Pop was here last night. And I start asking questions, and then things started to unwind. Then I went to the management and asked them to pull the tape, the videotape, which I, I, you have a copy of. We're going to see this right now. That's my car. And that is my grandson. All right, and so after you viewed the tape... Um, I, I did a police report, which I have right here. Let's see it, please. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And, um, the four of us got together, and, um, we went to family court. I, I believe that's what it was, family Good. court. Because I pressed charges. Good. But the police officer laid it on the line and told us there was nothing that was going to be done to him because they have so much crime, you know, all this other stuff going on, that auto theft was not in the top ten. So we never even went Where before Where you all lived? Jersey. What part? Newark. Um, so nothing was Closest done. thing to Detroit, I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. So, you know, again, you know, he gets away scot-free with what he's doing. I tried 
to get him into the Scan Straight program. Uh, but he was too young. He was 15. You need to be 16. My daughter gave his mother information about Steve Harvey, you know, for the Wayward Boys. She didn't follow through. So that's, that's where we, we differ. I don't think she, you know, it's, it's work. No, I can tell the work. way she's defending him. She's not ready. She'll deal with it. All right, oh, ma'am, well, tell me but about I, the car. He had counseling. For him. I'm scared like, for him. No, don't be scared for him because he had counseling. Okay, so it's time like for said, medicine. Nine, if, if counseling he didn't, didn't work, no medicine. If, he had counseling. Mm -hmm. He went to even when this happened to her car, he had counseling. Okay, how often did he go? Probably he went, he went to counseling okay. maybe for about three, four years. Why are you mad at me? I'm, I'm trying not, to help you and your son. Go right ahead. Just make sure you got your gas money to visit him in prison. I'm not Hopefully upset he at won't nobody. be dead. Hopefully he won't get killed. Whatever God they ain't put in I'm ready. Tell me about this three thousand. That's what I want. About the three thousand. Yeah. When it happened, I gave her five hundred dollars. I uh -huh. told her I was not responsible for the remainder of the balance. Mm -hmm. it was between her and her yep. son, mm -hmm. and things went haywire between them two. So well, now I stand before mm -hmm. you today mm -hmm. because I'm standing up and I want to get this done. I want them two to have a relationship. You know how to get it done? You pay her. That's like. how you get it well, done. Three thousand dollars is your judgment. And I'll Good luck to you and your it. son. This is, I'm glad that this is all over with. I pray that we are still family, and Pop and I will um, continue our mother grand grandmother relationship, and me and her can still be funny together.